All the meeting will be rosy. You would enjoy it. Hallelujah. I never realized why it is that good. But still, this is going to be over. Uh, Vision Way is going to be over. Mountain top, you have to calm down somewhat. Uh, so eventually, you, you begin to have a question. Why am I here? Why? How can I make my life more meaningful? This while, you have all the wonderfuls, right? Oh, how wonderful, right? If you turn to the front page, there's no page here. Oh, how wonderful. I'm amazingly transferred into the kingdom of the son of his love. I feel sorry. We don't have enough time to cover this. This is a really rich thing. And then, oh, how wonderful. Amazingly I have the redemption of the forgiveness judicially. Isn't that marvelous? Oh, how wonderful. We can amazingly testify. I would say, we can testify uh, uh, amazingly. Oh, no, that doesn't work. We can amazingly testify organically that we are children of God. Brother, just remember this. It's surprising. Who are you? I'm a child of God. Who are you all together? We are children of God. Organically. That means not doctrine, not a belief, not a disciple. But in life relationship, we are children of God. And then, how wonderful. We may amazingly abide in love. I say that, brother, you should appreciate. Rick Coleman says on me, so sober. I didn't, you young people didn't get it. When he testified, he was weeping. In the chair, he was weeping. I understand the feeling. No man, no man can take it. No man can take it. But God's love was there. Eventually, become his supply. That amazingly, I can abide in love. I be so close to the Lord and fellowship with him. And then the next one we didn't share. <clears throat> oh, how wonderful. We may amazingly be conformed to the image of the Son of God. Hard to believe. Hard to believe. I see all the white hairs, including myself. Uh, originally, oh, I got one white hair. It become big news. You have a sadness and joy. Joyce, look, has something to show off now. One white hair. I said because one hair is coming, the other hairs will become white somewhat. Am I right? Uh, well, uh, eventually, now nobody comes. How much white hair? The whole thing's white. You have no choice anymore. Brother, but I uh, still have to say, uh, this is a man's course, right? You are young, right? Then, uh, from a childhood, to what? To a young lad, to a young girl, young boy, young man. Then, you somewhat mature. This is a process. Then you come to your golden age. Golden age is 40. You know, that's why you have accumulated enough, so you are so beautiful, right? 20 years later, you are no longer that beautiful, right? 40 years later, you are not only not beautiful, you just hope you can still be pleasant. Six years later, you, just, you almost beg people, please still love me. Oh, please not love me. Please still like me. Like me. Of course, I'm minister, so a little bit different. I see the older people do their best to win hearts of the young ones. The young ones never see this. What? Oh, look at you. But you don't realize, someday you'll be like that too. If time doesn't stay here. Time continues, that's the law. God prepared. You know, brother, uh, we all have a life. One thing, please, you young people, allow me to say this. I'm very happy that at my 80, when I'm 80 some year old, I can say 
I have so much Christ. I enjoy so much Christ. Christ is very much conformed into my being. Well, not in full, but to a certain extent. If I'm old, void of Christ, think about how pitiful that will become, that whole life will become. So you see, oh, how wonderful. We may amazingly be conformed to the image of the Son of God. And then, oh, how wonderful. We can amazingly become members of the household of God. Finally, oh, how wonderful. We can amazingly flow out life. We have life flow out, oh, flow out of us. You know, brother, the meeting is going to be finished. Well, go home. You can go home in two ways. One, you can go home says, hallelujah, it's finished. That's good, brother. If you're not that desirous, you have said, I praise the Lord, finally it's over. Well, when we were with uh, our teachers training, 30 meetings in 10 days. With my disposition, that's called mission impossible. And I have to see, I have to see how many brothers through that 10 days. So I have uh, two calendar. One calendar was seven o'clock, breakfast with school, then two meetings, lunch with school. Do you get my point? Then uh, supper with school, afternoon with school. Then uh, once I come home, I say no on my door. Door knock. Uh, Brother, I must have fellowship with you immediately. You know what I did? <laughs> I have this right, I look at it. Wow, five more days. Wow, four more days. You should come after finish four more days, you'll feel much better. Only three days left. Do you, you, you get help? You get a lot of help. You enjoy it, you really enjoyed it. But seriously times, you have to sit there. And actually I'm amazed our teacher, stand there ministry. Stand there ministry. Of course. Uh, he's very rigid. No one bother him. He doesn't see anyone in that 10 days. You know what I mean? So finally, wow, I only have two days. Wow, the last day. When the last meeting came, the, me the feeling was very interesting. Oh, wow, what a feast. What a feast. Oh, finally it's over. Then, how do I go home? Am I right? Then, going home for what? Hey, do you know going home for what? Aren't you, aren't you happy this for five meetings, right? Do you like these five meetings? If you say you don't, you're nuts. You say, but I'm a nuts, and you're just a nuts, and what can I do? I crack you. I crack your shell or something. It's just a nuts. This meeting is marvelous, good. The fellowship's good. Uh, overall, it's good. We enjoyed it. So praise the Lord. We say, hallelujah, amen. Uh, then we're going home. The second thing is, going home for what? Going home to the old church life? Brother, let me tell you good, good news. Six days later, you'll meet in your hall with whosoever was you. It can be 15. It can be 20. You can, again, count each other's eyebrow. You know why? I know. I'm, you should say amen. I know who's saying amen. Do you get my point? Or not? You say, oh, Lord, I know who's saying Lord. I, I have heard this voice for 30 years. After 30 years, finally we have 20 left. Hallelujah. Don't you realize there's something wrong? So we go home, we say, next week, hallelujah, we'll come back to the normal life. Or we will say, when will be the next meeting, brother? No. You can only make your life meaningful. If you go back, you had a burden. I want the flow out of life. 
If I don't flog my life, there's no value. All the conferences, all the riches, they can become a nice dish with no nutrition. You know, you're, they're Chinese, they're a famous dish called sea cucumber, hai sen. That is a famous dish, expensive. When you enjoy it, it tastes so good. It doesn't help you a bit. There's no nutrition, no nutrition, but it tastes good. What is that? That is the conference of Titus Chu. Tastes so good, but no, no nutrition. You have to be energized. You have to say, no, I got some beef. No, I got some meat. No, I got some healthy vegetable. No, I got some riches. These riches energize me for me to go back and exercise for the Lord. Then there's value, right? So here I said, let's come to our line. Number one, <clears throat> Jesus told them, oh, I have all the authorities. Now, go therefore uh, and make disciples of all the nations. I don't know how, uh, what uh, versions you got, but whatever the versions you got, Stephen, disciple our nations is much better than make disciple our nations. You understand what I'm talking I don't make you a disciple. I disciple you. You know the difference or not? Making disciple could be positional. Could be a position. I make you a disciple. Disciple you is a person. You see, the original translation is better. And then secondly, uh, in the midst of crooked, uh, among you, we shall have luminaries right, what? <clears throat> in the world holding fast the word of life. In other words, uh, now let's go back to two things. Number one, we are disciples and we disciple others. Number two, we are luminaries with all the brothers. Everyone is a luminary. Amen. Together, we're luminaries. We go out to shine out. Amen. It's absolutely wrong. I, I go back. I'll be so happy. I'll wait here next week. So next week, praise the Lord, we will all come together, have another meeting. That's totally wrong. I go back. I want to be a person. Flow out our life. 